Hello and welcome to the lightning talk on Amazon ECS and AWS Fargate. Today in this video you will see how to monitor the performance of your Amazon Elastic Container Service or Amazon ECS application using CloudWatch Container Insights. With Container Insights you can aggregate and summarize metrics and logs from containerized application allowing you to troubleshoot your Amazon ECS cluster by isolating specific issues. Since we are talking about observability, it is a good idea to start with a definition so that we are all on the same page. Observability is the ability to understand the state of a system or application by examining its outputs, logs, and performance metrics. Let's start with the obvious, visibility. Visibility assists with resolving issues, real-time troubleshooting. As we move to the right-hand side on this slide, the examples become more business-focused. So if observability is important, how do we make the systems more observable? The first thing that you have to do is this systems should emit events in the form of metrics, logs, and traces. Metrics helps us answer the question, is the application response type faster or slower? Logs helps us troubleshoot and debug specific components of the system. Traces helps us understand interconnectivity. These are often called the three pillars of observability, metrics, logs, and traces. Let us talk about how to get the metrics and logs for ECS. CloudWatch Container Insight collects, aggregates, and summarizes metrics and logs from your containerized application running in ECS. With Container Insights, operational data is collected as performance log events. These are entries that are structured JSON schema for high cardinality data to be ingested and stored at scale. From this data, CloudWatch creates higher level aggregated metrics at the cluster, service, and task level as CloudWatch metrics. The metrics include utilization for resources such as CPU, memory, disk, and network. The metrics are available in the CloudWatch automatic dashboards and also viewable in the metrics section of the CloudWatch console. CloudWatch <coughs> automatically collects metrics for many resources such as CPU, memory, disk, and network. On top of it, Container Insights also provides diagnostic information such as container restart failures to help you isolate issues and resolve them quickly. You can also set CloudWatch alarms on the metrics that Container Insights collects. One thing to note before we head over to the demo Container Insights supports encryption with AWS KMS, key for logs and metrics that it collects. Today, we will demo using AWS Management Console for setting up Container Insight, but please check out the documentation that includes how to achieve the same using Amazon AWS command line interface. Once you head over to your ECS console, uh, first thing to ensure is that you are running in a region where Container Insight is enabled. When you are inside your ECS console, there are a few ways you can do it. One way is to set the default for the account and you can do it under account setting. So if you go on the account setting page, there is a section for CloudWatch Container Insights. Uh, you can either turn off or turn on. In my case, it is turned off by default. You can easily update that by clicking the update button and then going to the CloudWatch Container Insight section and checking that box and hitting save changes. The other way to do it is while creating a new cluster using AWS Management Console. When you hit create cluster, and you can actually go down to the monitoring section and 
enable the container inside and hit create once your cluster is created you can go to your cluster and you can verify that under cloudwatch monitoring the container inside is selected which is a green check mark beside the container inside as you can see in my ecs cluster i have already enabled two services let's head over to the metrics section to see how container insight works as you can see once you enable container inside the tabs or the sections of metrics under metrics tab is blank this is because all the metrics are now aggregated to your container inside dashboard which provides more extensive and customizable metrics display and a wider range of information including cpu and memory utilization tasks and service count storage and network performance and container instance count counts for cluster services in tasks you can sort the data in different ways such as by services as you can see this application has two different services running and the data can be viewed for each services you can select an instance name in the legend and the page will be filtered for that particular service you can do the same level of data sorting for task level again we have two tasks out here one is called simple fargate another is called simple web services you can select one of them to view the data for that particular task and we can also scroll down and you can see a lot of additional information are visible to you example uh, your containers performance some application insight etc let's see if we can do some deeper analysis say for the container performance for this sample container which is called sample sample web app once you select that container and you hit actions and you select view performance log you will go into the details window which will have the logs inside it has got some sample queries that you can run and you can visualize the data or you can look at the logs as you as you want to do it um, you can take advantage of the existing queries or you can create your own custom queries some of the sample queries uh, that you can use are already provided for you for example if i want to see the 25 most recently added log events i select it under common queries i hit apply and then if i run the query you can see the 25 most recent records for cloudwatch logs that that is relevant for my ecs cluster that's it for the demo thank you for watching uh today and hope you enjoyed it now it's time for you to try this